When you hear pole fitness, do you think of women spinning on poles in nightclubs? Though that may be what comes to mind, pole fitness coach Kiara Citro says there is a difference. Pole fitness is done in gyms and pole fitness, because it's fitness anyways, also in clubs, because what those ladies can do sometimes is beyond fitness. It's, uh, it's fitness in their way, but for a different approach. They are not there for the fitness level. They are right. there for a completely different story, and they cannot be compared. But she admits there is some confusion about what pole fitness really is because of where the sport started. Pole fitness uh, started where women saw the ladies in clubs dancing and approached the ladies and said, wait a minute, I would like to learn this. I want to know what did you just do? And so uh, there's one, especially one lady in Las Vegas. Um, she then started to, to open up her first pole fitness studio and got more customer. And from there, it went to Australia, from Australia, it went to England, from England, it went all over the place. She's also encountered other people who think she is offering other services. But remaining professional helps her to continue being a legitimate pole fitness instructor. This 51-year-old is a former gymnast who excelled in floor and bar exercises. So it's not surprising that she transferred her talent and love for the horizontal bars to a vertical bar. She says those who choose pole fitness as a means to exercise are really pioneers of the sport. The pole involves dancing mm -hmm. and involves acrobatics in a way, right? So it's both. The combination of both makes this sport so successful for your body. Most dancers, if they don't work for it, the upper body is a little weak. Because the dancer, a ballet dancer, has her upper body strength that she needs for herself. If you put a ballet dancer on the pole, she can climb in no time. A gymnast can climb in no time. They develop their strength to approach those exercises. Many choose to exercise to get in shape. So until beginners start to see their bodies change, they often opt for the typical workout gear. But they soon realize that like other sports, pole fitness has its own attire to ensure safety. You need to wear shorts. You need to wear a top or else you're sliding on the pole. Despite not wearing the appropriate apparel, I tried a beginner move called the fireman. Then I tried to do what is called the windmill, but that didn't quite work out. Some of the moves are more difficult than others. For example, the Cupid isn't the easiest maneuver to pull off. Gym member Charlene Dotton explains what is involved. So that's a move which definitely requires inner thigh muscles, mm -hmm. um, all of your leg muscles really, and then also your balance. Because mm. for that move, you have to use all of those because you're letting go to pull. Only your feet are holding you. And it's like you're standing almost in this position on pole. Climbing a pole isn't as easy as it looks either. It's a full body workout, mostly using biceps, triceps, and a good technique. It's also great for core strengthening, which helps in maintaining good posture. In this gym, pole fitness is incorporated into a structured exercise program that starts with a warm up. When it comes to conditioning the various muscles needed for pole fitness, the Pilates half balancing ball is very useful. It helps you to master the balance needed to do the hummingbird or even the upright sailboat. Using the ladder barrel builds the abdominal strength required for the on pole sit and lean. Meanwhile, the reformer machine is used to target the inner thigh muscles needed for the cross ankle release or plank. After a routine that includes several of these moves, it's not surprising that the young women are almost all out of breath. It's cardio, especially when you have to do a routine, like what we did earlier. Mm -hmm. um, it's strength training. Mm -hmm. It is flexibility as well, because you mostly get to stretch out, you have to stretch after. Um, and I like to dance. Mm -hmm. She also points out that it's not just for the slim and trim. You always end up toning. You always end up um, just increasing your own strength and you build that core that you never knew you needed to that extent and it's, it's just one of those things that I think you have to try to be able to truly say, wow, look at the change in me, wow, look at the confidence in me, wow, look at what I can do. 
Another member, Samalka Boyce, likes pole fitness because she gets quick results. I like it a lot mm -hmm. and I find that it really works mm -hmm. in relation to toning and stuff. Like some a difference all the way and stuff. These young women have finally found a way to exercise that keeps them motivated to stay on the path to fitness. And they're undeterred by any misconceptions about using a pole to get in shape. Kimita Jones, CBC News.